Gold Fleet started this morning with all teams tied on zero points. The start was boat favored and many of the teams were stacked up there. Leading off the start line were Spanish 986 and France 8. Most of the fleet tacked right. The Danes, Poles, British and Swedish were playing the puffs in the middle trying to get back even with the Alonzos who had gained on the right. The Swedish were first to the windward mark followed closely by the Spanish and the Polish. At the bottom of the course, three teams had separated themselves. The French went around the opposite mark, making a few gains and put them in the lead. This light air race will put them in a good position for the King of the Downland. The Polish and Spanish were locked in a tight battle for the entire second lap of the course, with the Polish holding on the whole way. The Polish held them off to come second, with the Spanish in third, and Denmark in fourth. Uh, so long way. 44 minutes, like look, no wind at all, and uh, like really a lot of tens. And uh, I think we made a good first first downwind, and then uh, we was in the top three, and then we got uh, a bit of a bounce between the other the other guy, and then uh, we just we just wait the finish. <laughs> In the second race of the Gold Series, it was blowing about 8 to 10 knots, and the sides looked about even. France 8, Julien Noy, and Alan Norgard and Peter Lang, the Danes, came off the pin and went to the cliffside. side. Poland 52, and the Alonzos were going right. The fleet was evenly split heading up the beat, with teams taking advantage of various puffs and ships to do as well as they can. The last puff came from the left side. Both the Danes and the French came in and snuck around the windward mark ahead of the Alonzos. The Danes led comfortably around the leeward gates and everyone headed left to the cliffs. Conditions became unstable and Julien, France 8, was able to take advantage. As well, the other French team, Seiko, were able to take advantage while the Danes slipped back in a lull on the far left. Win! Two for two! Yes, perfect! Yeah. <laughs> What is happening in this race? We take the we win the start uh, on the leeward, uh, leeward side, and that was a, a good point for us. And then we decided to go on the left side with uh, Alan to Danish, and uh, the left side was a good side. But uh, Alan had a, he had a really good technique. <laughs> <laughs> well, he like was quite was, fast like on the this, like this <laughs> again, yeah. again, and then uh, walk not more faster, I think. Okay, but we laugh. Back was just laughing. <laughs> In race 3, the breeze was up from the first race. Most of the fleet went left and headed to the cliffs. The weather was charging in. Alan Norgard and Peter Lang continued with their controversial shoulder trapezing technique as the weather really pounded in. The rain was incredibly thick at this point. The, the fleet battled through three long laps. Through trying conditions, Poland 42 won the race, followed by the Irish. 